Hey, hello all. Uh, welcome to Hacker Associate. Today our objective is to understand Bobsuit Bemda. So this Bobsuit Bemda is basically a new feature introduced in the borough. So we will understand what exactly is a Bemda, how to use it, and how you can use Burb Bemda in your bug bounty hunting. So if you are part of bug bounty, if you are part of application penetration testing, if you are doing cloud penetration testing, this particular feature is important to you. So let's get started. I'll see you in the practical section. So yes, so here we are right now, right? So this is our topic today. What is uh, Bob Suite Bemda? So we are going to do what? So we are going to analyze requests like a pro. So this is a part of my black hat training. Uh, you can easily check okay each and every information on my LinkedIn. Uh, here is a website. You can go and navigate it, and you can explore each and every program detail. Okay, from this particular certification called Advanced Web Application Security. So here, I teach all advanced concepts regarding to the web application penetration testing. So here, let's get started. So first of all, maybe uh, you have the question okay in your mind, what is BEMDAS, right? So I'll give you the answer okay today in this particular section. So BEMDA essentially let you modify bug on the fly. Okay, so you can modify each and everything. Okay, like by using the verb on fly. That is basically meaning of BEMDA. So, what will be our task? Our task is filtering all HTTP requests for our target. Second, we are going to writing filter using BEMDA. And what we are going to do? So we can see that these are the responses like 200 connection. Okay, 300 redirect, 400 client side error, and 500 is basically server side error, right? So let's go and start okay like the verb which is here open it up and let understand the bemda in a live manner right so you can simply go to the next area start verb and open it up so i have a lot of extension i have installed okay in the verb so it will take a time okay to load okay so i'll just wait for it and this is my Mozilla Firefox and you can see the burp is configured in this area and I'm here right so let's go and start it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know browse any application or we can say our target so if you just see okay like sublime I mentioned there filter all HTTP requests for our target and writing filter okay using BEMDAS and these are the basically responses as we know so you can take any target okay so I have taken google.com let understand how to analyze okay using BEMDA so if you just see okay like we have google.com here we can simply click here to scope re-enable and this is very basic okay if you have application penetration testing right right click add to scope and you will see this particular application in scope items now further how to proceed so if you can see clearly in the proxy tab uh, this is the history tab right and here okay you'll see all the requests whatever I have done it means whatever I am examining, you will see each and every information will be under the history section, right? This is the first thing you need to figure out. After that, you can see in the middle of the section, you will see the filter setting. This is called BEMDA. Okay, when you click here, this is called BEMDA mode, right? You can simply select the BEMDA mode here. And here, okay, you will see a Boolean matches proxy HTTP request response, request response. So what do you mean by this particular thing or this particular function we can say that right and again uh, before i start it this particular function so if you are new to the channel please subscribe it plus if you want to see the same video in hindi language you can please check it offensive hacking channel where okay i explain each and every concept in hindi uh, language so if you're comfortable with hindi go okay to the hindi channel if you're comfortable with english you can explore me okay on this uh, same channel okay so here what do you mean by that one Boolean matches proxy HTTP request response and request response. So this means that uh, generally when we use burp, we have a request and we have a response. So in that request response, show me the request response. Very simple, right? So whenever okay you examine any request, we have a request and we have a response. So in that request response, show me request response. It means show me both request as well as response. That is called written true. So when you simply see apply it and you can clearly see that we are able to see request and the response but the same moment when I click on this particular button and if I just simple set this part okay as a false and you can see what will happen so false enter 
applied and you can clearly see that I am not able to see any request and any response that exactly is the meaning of that part okay it's very easy okay as I mentioned what you can do what is our objective uh, we can modify burp on fly that is very very important right okay the so next part is again you can click here and when you simple set okay this part to true just press enter and apply and you can see you are able to see a request and response so again i'm repeating uh, i need to check request and response okay from request response proxy http this is basically the we can say the function now i'm going to write one more okay rule in order to show you so example let's say what you want so i want okay in the request response you can see that clearly in the request response what you want i want uh, to check uh, responses so in the request response i want to only check the responses okay this is basically the meaning and the response is what you want to filter i want to filter the status code you can see clearly and which is equal to 200 example and you can simple apply that's it and you are done and you can clearly see that you will be able to see all 200 status code that exactly we need to use bemda okay i hope you are enjoying okay this bemda part even there are many many things we can do okay in this section but again i'll record a separate video for that so i don't want to confuse okay okay uh, for this kind of call you know program or function in this particular section okay we will see uh, there's a different video for that okay for complexity so if you just see again okay if i just try to put okay like here uh, 300 and you can see what will happen apply and again we don't have anything regarding to the 300 okay let me just try uh, 400 and we can see sorry apply let's see we have anything we don't have anything regarding to 400 okay so this how okay like we can examine each and every request response so here again i'm repeating in this request response show me the response and which have a status code equal to 200 so that's how exactly uh, you can use bemda this is fantastic i love it and all complex tasks we will do okay in the coming video i hope you enjoy the video if you are new to the channel please subscribe it and you can follow all my channels like linkedin youtube twitter discord and there okay like every day okay like i am posting a new content new cheat sheet new payload that will help you a lot okay when you do bug bounty or cloud penetration testing or any kind of next generation penetration testing have a great day. Thank you. See you in the next video.